all of these demos, uh, they're, they're, they're uh, not like a video game, and so uh, they're hard to demo, um, but, but um, uh, I thought that we, we, we would demo something anyways. Now we'll take down, we'll pull down one of the visualization stacks, and this is Paraview. What this is, is taking a supercomputer, we're gonna download this Paraview container, and inside the Paraview container has, of course, CUDA and, and RTX, and, and one of the things that it has is this thing, and it's got optics, and one of the, this thing has is called index. It has the ability to take a gigantic, gigantic visualization database. For example, if you want to visualize seismic processing, if you want to visualize a supernova, if you want to visualize something so gigantic, there's no way to fit it in system memory. And you've got to distribute it across a supercomputer. If you want to visualize something that big, you'll pull down the Paraview container with our index SDK, which has all the software in it. It's all fully optimized. You pull that into your supercomputer, and uh, let's show it to them. Peter, is that you? It's Mark. OK, hey, Mark. Hi. Uh, OK, uh, thank you very much. Um, so, so Mark, Mark, here, here let, me, let me set you up and you go, okay? Yeah. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I know, I know that, that most of you have never been to another galaxy. <laughs> I just wanted to ch double check, okay? And so, so for those of you who have never been to another galaxy, we're going to bring it to you. This galaxy, turns out, is a dwarf galaxy. This dwarf galaxy is like one-fifth the size of the Milky Way. And it has hundreds of supernovas inside, okay? Now, I, I've never been that close to a supernova, so you guys gotta be a little careful here. It, we're, gonna be, we're gonna be super close to a supernova. And what we wanna see, apparently what happens, is that it just spews out enormous amounts of gas out into the universe and new galaxies are formed. And so this is M82, right, Mark? This yes. is M82, and we're going to see this new galaxy, this, 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 this dwarf galaxy, just spewing beauty and gases out into the universe as new galaxies are formed. Okay, go ahead. All right, thank you very much. <laughs> um, to, to start our uh, GPU accelerated multi, uh, multi node containers, we uh, first have to load uh, singularity. As you can see here, we uh, first simply check how, what kind of GPUs we have. We have uh, Volta's GPUs here, it's a DJX system, multiple DJX systems. And uh, then we run uh, a job on right now only two machines, uh, two DJX systems. Um, this is a demo only this audience could love. This is being broadcasted <laughs> all over the world. Mark, this is being streamed all over the world. Awesome. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all <There> right, then. <laughs> people all over the world are going to watch you type. <laughs> <laughs> only this audience goes, yeah, I love that. So simple. <laughs> they made it so simple. <laughs> um, we are using MPI and Singularity <laughs> to actually run the uh, <laughs> NVIDIA Docker container that we pull from our uh, repository. Uh, it's a Paraview uh, um, server that we are going to launch on uh, two machines with the NVIDIA Index plugin here. And uh, what you are seeing now is how the Docker container is pulled, uh, then uh, extracted and launched in a second. Guys, I just I have to confess, uh, we didn't rehearse, and so I have no idea how long this is gonna take. And so, so Mark, we are already give me a there. hint. We are there already. Okay, so right, the galaxy is huge. I mean, this <laughs> M82 is big. We, we are starting small. Um, so we, we have uh, our Paraview client already running here. We connect to the Paraview server, now, you um, told me earlier that it's like 70 terabytes. Uh, seven okay. terabytes is, is it 700 or 70? Uh, it's seven terabytes. Oh, seven terabytes. Oh, so it's tiny. <laughs> this galaxy is small. 
it's just tiny. Yes. Okay, so this, we, yeah. we're we're down. We're we're basically pull. We're we're going to render. The, this is simulated, right? This is being simulated on a supercomputer, and it it spews out. It spews out seven terabytes of data. Now, seven terabytes will not fit in a computer, in a workstation or a computer. You can't render it. And so we take the seven terabytes, we break it up into this new data structure, rendering hierarchical distributed rendering system we created called Index. Index is going to take this, 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 this dwarf galaxy, it's going to render it in small pieces, and then Index is going to assemble, compose it, and present it to you for your enjoyment. <laughs> Am I right, Mark? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, what we're seeing here in a couple of seconds is um, the galaxy, but this is only one time step that we currently run on just these two nodes. It's a live demo. Um, that's actually working. And um, <laughs> here we are. So this is the data that you currently see rendered on two machines. Um, Okay. So, so, so I, it turns oh. out we have an astrophysicist working on NVIDIA, all right? <laughs> and so, so hey, 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 Do Dr. Jones, Dr. Jones. Hi, hey, so, um, so th these, are, these are the supernovas in the middle, right? Yeah, that's right. And it's spewing out in these two directions, but not, not in, this disk way, in this disk format. Why doesn't it do that? Why doesn't it come out in a spherical way? So the, 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 the gas being spewed out actually goes in all directions, but it gets captured by the galaxy when it spews out sideways. But when it spews uh, up and down with respect to the galaxy disk, then it just gets ejected. Oh, that makes so much sense. And the reason for that is because the galaxy is spinning in, in a particular direction. Yep, that's right. I see. I see. Okay. See, this is the type of stuff we get to talk about in NVIDIA. We, we have, um, earlier on, you guys, there's a Kate Clark, I don't know if she's in the audience, uh, a quantum chemist. Uh, we have an astrophysicist. Uh, we, have, we have a couple of video gamers. <laughs> <laughs> and now we want to go large. So what you have seen here uh, is exactly what you can do also not only with uh, 10 machines, 20 machines, you can do that with 20 machine, uh, 27 machines. Uh, or even more, but we have prepared a seven terabyte demo right now for you to dis display it uh, interactively. Whoa, whoa, it's hot out here. And <laughs> so. This is now seven terabyte in motion. Um, and uh, the scientists that created those uh, are eager to really uh, inspect the data uh, interactively. They can change uh, color maps, they can uh, the, change the transfer function, they can um, um, zoom in to spots they, they want to investigate uh, to really get insight into their simulation. It's a time-lapse uh, visualization here. Um, and, and so, Mark, it's important that the audience realize this is not seven terabytes of video that's being played back. That's easy. Exactly. This is seven terabytes of visualization data that we're visualizing interactively. That's why you can go in and out. And, and, and that's why you could, you could interact with it and notice that, good God, there's something odd over there. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? I just found something. <laughs> I'll yeah. report it right after the show. I, I, <laughs> okay, so this is the M22. Uh, this is a dwarf galaxy. Uh, it it's, um, uh, has a lot of supernovas inside. And this is what happens when they're spinning around, spewing gas, exploding, I guess. And um, it looks really hot. Okay? Thank you very much, Mark. Good job. Thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that is absolutely the best container demo you have ever seen. <laughs> it is not possible to give a good container demo. <laughs> Tupperware couldn't have done that. This is good container stuff. <laughs> We're going to be <laughs> known for jacking up containers. Dockers, singularity, containers. Nice and simple, download it, grip it and rip it. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of them. This is the body of work of practically our whole company. This is the body of work of the entire ecosystem. All of the scientists around the world working together 
for the last 10 years made this possible. We're looking at this registry and the amount of computer science that has gone in to make this possible, to refactor every single stack, to create new algorithms, to explore new worlds. Oh, come on, that was so good. These are, <laughs> this is container marketing at its best. Okay, all right, so this is, this is I'm so proud of this, you guys. And, and um, uh, this is, I hope all of you enjoy it.